Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out redzonecoins.com and use code ZERK for 15% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I have my team of the week week one predictions. Now I do want to give a shout out to Jax B Gaming for being a part of the Nota gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the video, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on and comment down below Nota gang. Also guys, can I get a hashtag Zerk top 100 because your boy got 20 wins a weekend league. We didn't make it. So a very, very sad day, but I'm going to be going over my Team three predictions for the Heroes, the LTD, and also the sets. Now, some things I need to talk about instantly, guys. Yes, I know. There's still Monday Night Football games to be played. The reason why I do my Team League predictions Monday morning is because, guys, tonight, literally around 8 p.m. each time, if EA does it again anyways, the past few years, EA has always revealed the Team of the Week cards literally before the Monday Night game. Now, that doesn't mean that those Monday Night players can't be added into the Team of the Week, but it just means they'll have to switch out whoever they have, which they have in, in the past uh, switched out players that they had in the sets. I think they maybe even switched out a hero one time for like Robert Woods I think I think they switched him out uh, to actually put him in for a team of the week hero so that's why I do my team of predictions Monday morning because EA is literally going to tell us the team of the week players before Monday night football so obviously got to do predictions before that some other things that I want to talk about with you guys is just remember, okay, there are literally thousands of players that could potentially be on this list. Maybe hundreds probably because there's tons of players that had good games, right? So I have six defensive set players, six offensive set heroes, two heroes, and then a limited time hero as well. So just keep in mind, I know your favorite player may not be on this list, right? But don't be salty about it because there's a very limited amount of players that could potentially put on this list. And please, 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 please keep in mind, don't go saying someone like Christian McCaffrey or Aaron Donner, who already has an 88 overall card. The set heroes are probably going to be 89 overall, and the limited time is probably going to be a 90 overall card, guys. So... Aaron Donald, Chris McCaffrey, those guys, they're not going to get upgrades, right? This, this isn't where they're going to get their upgrades at. Uh, and keep in mind, someone like Cam Newton is not going to be on this list because Cam literally just got an upgrade, and I don't think he did good enough to be an offensive hero. So for him to get a little upgrade into the set, I just don't think it's going to happen. So just keep in mind who just got upgrades to their team, including someone that I want to get off the list right now. Chase Young, I don't believe Chase Young is going to get a Team of the Week card because, guys, he just got an 83 overall card. He has an 83. He didn't do enough to get a defensive hero. And as for the set cards, the highest they're going to be is probably 86 overall. And I don't think he is going to make that little jump from 83 Chase Young to 86. So with that being said, let's get my predictions. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not a big fan of putting rookie premieres on my predictions list because EA doesn't really tend to give rookie premier players big upgrades. I know that we have in the past got, you know, a team of the week, Nick Bosa, right? That was in like November. This is the beginning of the year, right? I don't know if EA is actually going to give these rookie premier players some big top grades right now. And I'd like you to have some pretty good cards just for free, basically, if you had the rookie premieres. But... Clyde edwards helaire I feel like he needed to be on this list because he had an absolutely amazing game, 138 yards and a touchdown. Now, he did just get an upgrade to ultimate kickoff, but it's an 81 overall. And I feel like because of the game he had, Clyde could potentially go from 81 to 86. Chase Young had a decent game and could go, you know, I don't, I just don't think they're going to make him 83 to 86. So, but Clyde plus five overall, I could see it. Now, Calvin Ridley had an amazing game, nine catches, 130 yards, and two touchdowns, and Calvin Ridley only has a 79 overall, right? So here's the thing, because Calvin Ridley is kind of a bigger name player. Could they potentially make Calvin Ridley the highest overall set card? Make him the 86, right? Let's say it is 86 overall, and then just have Clyde not get an upgrade. I think that's possible, but they could also just make Calvin Ridley be like an 84 or whatever, 85, which is definitely possible again. So Calvin Ridley, I think he definitely deserves an upgrade. Had a great week. Now Dallas Goddard had eight catches, 101 yards, and a touchdown. So Dallas Goddard, I think, is someone that is also going to get probably one of those mid-tier elite upgrades. He had a pretty good week. And when I was doing my predictions list, I was honestly kind of surprised to see Mark Andrews only had a 79 overall card because I personally consider him to be one of the best tight ends in the league, but he had 58 yards with two touchdowns and a crazy one-handed catch, which would be awesome for like a really, really cool card art picture for Team of the Week. Uh, but Mark Andrews, I think he's probably going to get a mid-tier elite. I'm not, 
I'm not too sure, honestly, because like I'm not a big fan of putting two tight ends on a list. I don't remember us ever getting two tight ends in a team week set, but I feel like both those guys had really, really good weeks. And I know there's a lot of other players out there that maybe had more yards, more touchdowns, but you guys have to remember what overall cards they already have. Like Robbie Anderson had a great week, already has an 85. Now, Josh Allen definitely balled out. He had 369 yards and three total touchdowns, well, 369 total yards between rushing and also passing. So, great, great week for him. And honestly, a Josh Allen upgrade would be kind of nice because he already has 89 throw power on a 78 overall. How big of an upgrade is he going to get? Kind of hard to determine because a lot of players I'm putting on my predictions list, they already have decently high overall cards right so some of these players they may end up getting switched out for like a silver player that had a pretty decent week now malcolm brown had 110 total yards and two touchdowns and i think it's hilarious the ea has not fixed his card art yet because that is most definitely not the running back for the Rams. but he absolutely dashed my cowboys i don't want to talk about it uh but he has a 74 overall card i think he get an upgrade now, Jerome Baker had an incredible week. I believe he actually led the league in tackles this week with 16 tackles, a sack, and I want to say he also had a forced fumble. So with Jerome Baker having only a 72 overall card, if there's any player on this list that I think is a lock for team of the week, it better be Jerome Baker. Now, another rookie, but a rookie that doesn't have a rookie premiere is CJ Henderson. Now, I believe he had five tackles, a pick, and also a forced fumble. So... A great week from a cornerback who only has a 75 overall card with really good speed, good acceleration though at that 75. So they give him a, like a mid-tier elite card and get that zone and man up. This could actually be like a really, really good budget beast card. I feel like this man is always getting sacks to the Jets, but two sacks and seven tackles. Marcus May has a 78 overall, so he's going to have to at least get a mid-tier elite card. And this is one of those silver cards, guys, that I think are going to end up getting an upgrade just because of the fact that he has such a low overall card. And he had a decent week. He had a pick and also a couple of tackles versus the Texans. Legereus Sneed has a 67 overall card with some really, really good speed, by the way. So keep your eye on this guy. And Janoris Jenkins with the pick six on Tom Brady. I would not be surprised to see Janoris Jenkins potentially get like one of the higher overall set cards because he had a pretty good week. And the final player for this set I want to put in here is Patrick Queen again, guys. I'm not a big fan of putting these rookie premier players in here at all because I really don't know if EA is going to give them an upgrade. But Patrick Queen, only eight of an overall. I know, where's Chase Young, guys? He has an 83 overall card. I don't think he's going to get an upgrade. Patrick Queen could potentially get one. But to be honest, you guys, I don't think EA is going to do him. I think he seriously deserves this. And so many people, I asked for you guys' predictions on Team of the Week over on Twitter. So many people said Patrick Queen because he had an amazing game. He had quite a few tackles. I believe he also had a sack and a forced fumble. So a great great debut for the rookie but i'm gonna put him in the predictions list because i think he 100 deserves it i don't think he's gonna get the upgrade though so now let's talk about the team of the week heroes so who do i think is actually gonna get the hero guys i think it is going to be ryan kerrigan now to be honest you guys sometimes ea tends to give us a hero maybe we don't all want uh ryan kerrigan is not necessarily a player that everyone wants to see right but he had a pretty decent game. Now, I do want to give an honorable mention here to Jair Alexander because he had a really, really good game. And I think Jair, if it's not going to be Ryan Kerrigan, I think it is going to be Jair Alexander. But you guys will see exactly why I didn't put Jair here for the Team of the Week hero. Although, in my opinion, I think Jair probably deserves it over Ryan Kerrigan. But Kerrigan did have two sacks and a fumble recovery. So he had a pretty decent game. Now, as for the offensive hero, I'm going to go with Russell Wilson. Now, Russell Wilson had 322 yards and four touchdowns as well. Now, to be honest, you guys, I have two honorable mentions for the offensive hero. Number one is going to be Josh Jacobs. Now, the reason why I don't think it's going to be Josh Jacobs and why I think it is going to be Russell Wilson is because I we have so many running backs in the game currently. We have Bo Jackson in the game. We just got a Zeke upgrade. There's a lot of really, really good running backs. In terms of quarterbacks, and EA knows this, of course, there's Dan Marino, who is a pocket passer, and then there's, there's uh, Lamar Jackson, who's a scrambler. So I feel like because of how many running backs they've been giving us, also the new Todd Gurley, there's so many running backs currently in the game it wouldn't make sense to get another running back. I feel like they would rather go with the quarterback and give everyone another option instead of Lamar Jackson. So to me, I think it's going to be him. I will also say an another honorable mention here is uh, Aaron Rodgers. Yes, I know a ton of Packers honorable mentions because they all had really good games, but let's get the LTD. 
And as for the LTD, it's a Packer. Who would have guessed? Devontae Adams. Now, guys, the reason why Devontae Adams, I believe, is going to be the LTD is if they did it like they did it last year, they go based off of, correct me if I'm incorrect on this because I'm pretty sure I asked over on Twitter, couldn't get a definite answer on this, but I believe it is based off of ESPN's scoring and they go with the top score which would be Devontae Adams he had the most fantasy points this week so Devontae Adams had 14 catches 156 yards and two touchdowns now again honorable mentions here for the LTD would be Josh Jacobs or potentially Aaron Rodgers or even uh, Russell Wilson to be honest with you guys there's a ton of players they could potentially go with if they decide to switch it up they we haven't confirmed it yet if it's going to be like it was last year with the top fantasy performer but if it is it'd be Devontae Adams and also I know that last year they did switch it up a little bit from like the top fantasy performers some weeks it wouldn't be that guy it was even a defensive player some weeks so very very curious to see how the LTD is going to be but if they do it like they should do it it should be Devonte Adams so with that being said guys I hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure to drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of butthurt fans that I didn't have their favorite player on here but that's okay hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys next time